when I'm using the oils with cold wax, I like to work on a very hard surface, so I often use these, these gesso boards. So this one from Ampersand I find very good because it's, it's pre-primed, um, pre so it's ready to use. I don't need to do anything else on it, so it's a lovely, smooth, hard surface to work on. So I'm going to use a slightly different palette here. I've been using a lot of pinks recently. Uh, must be the time of year. So on my palette this morning, I've got some um, alizarin crimson. I've got the uh, raw umber. And I've also got titanium white and Prussian blue. So those are all the, the Winsor & Newton ones. And I've also added into the mix this rather beautiful Cobra water-based oil paint, which is Persian Rose, which um, I just love. So I tend to buy the basic colours from Winsor & Newton um, and then I quite often get slightly different colours, um, sort of mixed colours from uh, other companies. So, so Cobra I very much like, so they're, they're probably my, my other go-to company. So I've got this little board ready to go and what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix up some paint. So I've got a bit of the, the Prussian blue, a bit of white, mix in a little bit of wax. So the wax gives it texture, uh, makes it much thicker. It does dry to a slightly more matte finish with the wax, uh, which I like. Um, you can, of course, always varnish over later if you wanted to bring back the sheen. It also tends to dry quite quickly. So I'm back in here with my favorite tool. Uh, and in fact, I probably should have not put quite so much white in that because I don't know, I've got more white as I go. I try not to overthink things when I'm painting. I quite like things to sort of happen as they as they do. So putting down that, that rough base layer just to get me started. I'm always happy once I've actually got some paint on there just to give me a feeling that I've, I've sort of made a start. And I think what I might do is, I'm quite a fan of these scrapers. I have these, I have these, these catalyst scrapers. Um, in fact, that might be the better one for this. So that just, see how that smooths out the paint, just dragging that over. So, just clean it off there. Maybe just blend that in a bit. This is a little 20 by 20 centimetre panel, which is a size that um, I quite enjoy actually. It, it's, you can sort of say enough without it being intimidating. I do sometimes find it, I have to work quite differently when I'm a, on a much larger scale. But what works on this size doesn't always scale up to the, the big panels that I like to work with. I've just got a bit, of, a bit more texture than I want in there. So very much playing. You know, as I say, I can let this dry, I can work back into it. I can wipe it all off if I change my mind. So if I decide, you know what, I really don't like that. Let's just take quite a lot of surface of that off and then I can smooth that back down with a bit less colour on it. And that is looking okay actually. So um, let's come down and put some beach in. I'll, I'll wait and put the sea in as a, as a last thing. So for the mix here today, I've got my, obviously, my titanium white again, and I'm going to mix a little bit off the raw umber. I'm a great fan of both the umbers and the sienna, so I use raw and burnt of, of each of them on a fairly interchangeable basis. So I've just got, it's probably a little bit too dark. So again, just really wanting to get colour onto the board to have something to work with. There's nothing worse than the white just looking back at you and you having to make decisions what to what to do to cover it. So it's lovely and smooth, this board. It, it's a lovely surface to work on. I do use them for acrylic as well, but they're really one of my preferred surfaces for the um, using the water-based oils with the cold wax. So this alizarin crimson is absolutely divine if I mix it with the raw umber. Again, I'm just going to put a little bit. So this is going to make me a really rather beautiful dark. So you can see it's just got a little hint of that pink coming through. So let's 
a bit of a headland or cliff or something coming in. And you see the texture building up where I've got the cold wax in that. And again, because I've got the cold wax, if I wanted to scrape into it, I could. I don't at the moment, but oh, that's quite nice. I'm just dragging that. And I might at this stage bring in a little bit of this rather beautiful Persian rose. Because I think I might need a little bit of that, just bringing that into the foreground here. And I shall probably end up putting some of this pink in my sky as well, just to balance it. I like to try and carry the colours through if I can. So I need to have a brush. Make sure that this comes right over to the edge. So I'm I'm liking this softness of this pink on the sand. So paint is very thin at the bottom here, actually. Um, just picking up bits of colour on my brush and merging them in. I've got little bits of blue in here as well. So this is what I like. If you're not too careful, if you don't worry too much about it, it's just letting things happen. That little bit of blue, that's a little bit. Spread them out a bit. Just bring that up, and at some stage I shall decide what I'm going to do about the sea and where that's going to go. But um, adding a little bit of that in there. So I think this I might actually bring that along like that. As I say, making making decisions really more or less on the on the hoof, as it were. So there are things that work better on paper. There are things that work better on board, and it's really only by playing with them and seeing what you can do and using different tools that you get this feel. Now that's actually coming along quite nicely. I'm probably in a minute going to leave this to sit because. I want some of this that I've just done to have time to settle. This will dry very quickly, it's not very thick um, and it tends to dry much more quickly on the board. So I obviously need to think, oh, I don't know, that might be some spray coming up over the end there. So I'll probably wait and tidy up that end later. But I've got some, no, I don't think I want that yet. Too early to put those marks in. Let's just brush that over. So very much um, the early stages and I'm going to leave that now to sit and um, come back to that later.